Hello out there YouTube and fitness world. What I want to talk about today is my topic. It's going to be around inspiration and motivation, but I want to dig into this thing of why is old age and people aging, why is it continuously viewed in a negative manner? Uh, it's never really viewed in a good manner unless we talk about somebody retiring or whatever, and then we'll, we'll kind of make that sound good. But overall, aging is not viewed in a very good light. You know, oh, they can't pick up that. Oh, you know they're getting old. Well, you know, they can't get around anymore, you know, because they're getting old. It's not necessarily they can't get around because they're getting old. It is a combination of things. And that's where Master Fitness comes in at. Like and subscribe. We're going to be putting these videos out and talking more about subjects just like this one right here and try to open up a dialogue and also fitness as well, different muscle groups every day on how we're going to get better. Follow me, like, press that subscribe button so you'll ride with me, okay? And then we're going to be pumping these videos out on all these different topics and workouts. But getting back to this negativity on old age, and the reason is some truth to it, about you age and you get worse as you age. You know, I was talking to a friend the other day and they was telling, and they had, they stuck on this thing about, we, we get old, you know, they get old, you know, they get old and they just go downhill. Well, you get old and go downhill because you don't work out. That's why you get, that's why you go downhill. You have to keep working out. Now, if you get older and as you aging, and if you don't work out, and if you never worked out, and if you're taking illnesses with you from when you was 35, you know, maybe had kidney disease, maybe had diabetes, and you're taking that into your latter years, senior years, and then you're not working out, well, that's, that's, that's going to be your major problem. It's not so much as old age is taking you down. It's a combination of that. You're not doing anything and getting older with those illness that occur when you was younger. Not that old age is doing it, it's just as you continuously age, you just go downhill. You go downhill because when you don't work out when you get older, you lose flexibility, you can't bend over, you can't reach down, uh, you can't get back up, uh, and then you start losing muscle mass along with that. And that is a major problem. And that's where the disability is really coming at, where you can't independently live as you become a senior citizen into your latter years because you just don't have no muscle mass and flexibility. And when you lose flexibility, it means you can't even bend down. And that muscle mass, no muscles there, 600 muscles in your body, all of them, you know, what they say, you lose it if you don't use it, right? That's a true fact. <laughs> that's true in almost every sense. And that's what happens. You know, the older you get, the better you should get. Now, in order to ride with that statement, you have to work out. You have to continuously work out or start working out. You cannot ride that into your latter years. And I know somebody that's saying, well, you know, my uncle lived till he was 100 and he walked around or whatever. You know, if you active, if you active, you know, you can, you can live a while if you're very active in your old age, cutting your own grass and doing a lot of stuff. But still, you need to have a workout plan. We're talking about a few people, a 0 0.1, you know, that lives to be 100 or whatever, and, and, and they can still get around. It's not a lot of people. We need a lot more people getting around at, in their latter years, 80, 90s, you know, 100, still be able to get around. And you can get around. You can be independent if you put the work in. You should start working out or you should never stop working out. And if you had a job and you retired, you know, I hear people all say all the time, well, I don't, I don't have nothing to do. I just, I'm just so bored. If you retire, hey, oh, a nice a workout plan will help you because you're working on yourself now. If you work for some company for 30, 40, 50 years, Now's the time to work on yourself. Now's the time to go back and try to get some of your health issues in order. 
because you don't want to take them health issues into your latter years and you're not working out you know and if we can't you know we can't all blame all of that on age because again if you had this stuff before you retired and you had diabetes you had whatever high blood pressure and now you 80 years old with high blood pressure and diabetes that's a problem and you're not working out on top of that you have to work out you have to have a fitness plan you can get better or you should get better as you get older 18 to 40 when you get 40 you should look better than you did at 18 because you should be working out the autonomy of the body a body in motion stays in motion a body has to continue to work you can never stop there's no such thing as i'm retired there's no such thing as my body retired you have to continue to work in your neighborhood if you don't have a job you retire open the front door and walk your neighborhood two miles down two miles back i mean this ain't like difficult stuff well i walk slow well walk slow <laughs> you know but you got to do something yeah you may need to refer to your doctors and all of that stuff if you ain't never worked out and here you are in your senior years you may want to get with them but my point is, you know, this stuff should have been going on, going on all along as far as working out. And if you do, like I said, if you do want to start now in your late years, it's never too late. Get with your doctors, all your medical issues and talk to them and let them tell you what, where, where you can start at or whatever the case may be. But we cannot continue to, continue to say old age alone is what taking people out. It's a combination. Sure, old age plays a role in that. Again, when you don't do nothing for all them years and bring no medical issues with you, of course age plays a role. But if you work out, get in a workout plan when you're younger, or you can do it when you're older. It ain't never too late. Get in a workout plan, a daily workout plan, Monday through Friday, whatever you want to do. You do it and you get your heart rate up you blow out them vessels and everything and watch what you eat. Nutrition is just as important. Nutrition and fitness goes hand in hand. You can't go out here and do fitness and come back and just eat everything and think it's okay. It doesn't work that way. But the thing is, we've got to stop using age as an excuse. I mean, not everybody do it. In this century right here, right here, we got more older people senior people working out than ever it's still still not enough we're not even close to having enough but in the latter years uh we were way behind because people was riding with that i'm getting old and i get the remote control and i sit around and do nothing some are still doing that and they're not going to work out no matter what i say you say or anybody else say they're just not going to do it they, that's, that's, that's what they're going to do. They're just going to ride it right on down. When you should be getting older and riding it right on up because you're supposed to get better. 18 to 40, 40 years old, better. 40 to 60. At 60, you should look better than you did at 40. And then at 80, from 60, you ought to look better at 80 than you did at 60. But you got to put the work in. That don't happen by itself now. I know some people saying, whoa, what is he talking about? No, 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 no. It works when you put the work in. You never stop putting the work in. Again, there should be a workout plan, all right, in place. 55, say you retire, 55, say you retire at 62. So it's your workout plan every day. Your life doesn't stop because you're just working on yourself now, an hour or two a day. That's all you're doing. That's going to help prolong your life, most likely. That's going to help you live a little longer. That's going to help you be independent living. All of that is about you, and it's about the work you put in, you know, to help yourself. You know, but if you choose to do nothing, well, it's, it's not good. The outcome is not good. You should get better as you age. There's no question about that. We've got it twisted. We've had it backwards for years. We've had it totally backwards where people just get older and just go straight down. And that's why it's so negative. Everything, this negative content about getting old, everything negative. Well, you know they're getting old. Well, you know, they, you, know, you know they're older. You know they can't pick up this. You know they can't get around. Why they can't get around? 
because they lost muscle mass and flexibility. Uh, probably should not have never happened because you should have been in a workout plan. And that's the thing that we have to do. We have to get ahead of all of this stuff. We have to take care of ourselves. We have to take our health more seriously and put in the work. Why is it so important? Because you're working on you. This is about you. You put in the work to take care of you. Whatever job you've done for years, you took care of them. You was there every morning and taking care of them and clocked out every evening. Now it's time to clock in and clock out on yourself. That's what timing is. But we got to stop using age, uh, some of us, as an excuse and talking about it so negatively. Because I know some people in the, in the 80s. In the 80s, where I go work out at, in the places I go walk at, in the 80s. They look better than I look. In the 80s. I'm talking about in shape. <laughs> I was shocked when I talked to uh, a couple of men one day walking, and they told me they were uh, 87. One guy told me he was 87. I thought he was in his 60s, maybe early 60s, and just he looked good in his 60s. Man told me he was 87. So there's people out here, a lot of people out here who are working out and taking care of themselves. And they are the ones that I'm talking about. And once again, they proved that. And not only that, I'm not young either. And I'm, do and I'm doing okay. <laughs> My point is, we're all going to do okay if you continue to follow me, Master Fitness. The older you get, the better you get. We are going to define this thing. We're going to make you better. We're going to get better. We don't use age as, as an excuse here. We relish it. Bring it on because we know we're going to get better. Why? Because we're going to put it into work. Like and press that subscribe button. Press that button and come back and be with us. This is Master Fitness, the building of a machine.